Welcome back to Not So Grand Garage. Today we're uh, out in the fuel shed again. We got our 150-ish uh, gallons of AW32 back to the house. So we're gonna get that pumped out, put into our main tanks. So uh, I'll give you a little rundown of our pump setup and uh, how that works, show you how it works out. So uh, yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So here's the main pump we use for bulk oil transfer. It's an inch and a half, a 212cc trash pump from Harbor Freight. And uh, I've had this pump for probably five or six years now. And it's pumped literally thousands of gallons of oil. And it's never let us down. It's a little tricky to get it primed, but beyond that, once it's going, it will empty a full tote like this in approximately five minutes so uh yeah here is our hose setup we use the inch and a half rigid hose for both supply and uh, or suction and output and this is our suction wand with quick disconnect fittings on it this will fit down in the uh, large bungs on the 55 gallon drums and obviously it fits down the tops of these totes just fine so Anyways, I'll get everything hooked up, get the pump started up. It's probably going to be a little, uh, a little iffy on getting it started because it's been sitting for a long time. But uh, we'll get it going and uh, let you see how it runs. Alrighty, got her all set up. Got the uh, suction wand up there into that tote. Got our supply or our discharge hose ran in here into one of our main totes here. Got uh, one of our pumps sitting on top of the hose so it doesn't come blowing out. But uh, as you can see, we're down to probably 100 gallons or so in this. So uh, we've got plenty of space to dump this tote into there. So I'm going to go on and fire the pump up, get it going. I'll climb up on the bed of the truck and uh, let's see how quick we can get this tank emptied.
and in just a couple minutes it uh, pulled this tote down real nice I do leave a little bit in the bottom of these I don't like to suck them completely dry that way if there's anything nasty sitting on the bottom of the tote uh, it doesn't end up in my bulk tank but uh, yeah had plenty of room but uh, I've got this drum up here full and uh, this barrel is still about half full so it'll be a little bit before I'm ready to batch another run from that tank or I may switch tanks but uh, I'm gonna let that settle for a good while and it uh, huh. I just noticed this looks like I've got a mouse storing food away in uh, my tote valve but, uh, huh. that's just part of it I guess anyways yeah, like I said, this setup works really well. Yep, so here it is pretty well. Nothing fancy. Just an inch and a half. I believe it was called a semi-trash pump. Um, I think I gave like 140 bucks for it. Something like that at one of the Harbor Freight uh, parking lot sales they do every so often. I'm not sure that they still sell that brand, but uh, yeah. Inch and a half trash pump. Works great. Uh, I do suggest these rigid lines they're a little bit more expensive but uh you don't have to worry about the lines sucking flat or those uh that blue discharge hose that you typically get likes to whip around and move around quite a bit this stuff stays where you put it pretty well and uh you don't have to fight it so i do have another full tote to go pick up here probably the next week or so so i'll take you all along for that and uh Show you how that works out. I believe I'll be changing out totes for that guy, so just be able to unload uh, an empty with forklift and sit his full one on there and just roll out. Real simple. If you uh, get good relationships with the people you pick up oil from, make it simple on them, and uh, things go a lot smoother. So, anyways, I think I'm going to call it there for this one. Quick video, but uh, kind of wanted to throw it together anyways. Show you how we handle transferring oil around. So uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. We appreciate you watching.